Oh, hello, everyone, and welcome. I finished uh, Atomic Heart earlier today, and I was like, I don't really know what the hell is going on with that game, or uh, I still can't really formulate a very good opinion on it. I, I feel like overall I didn't really like it just because there was so much going on, and it, it felt like they tried to do too much, but also... It was so all over the place, and there was just so much, like, weirdness in there that felt like it didn't need to be there. It was just there to, like, exist. Like, the weird dancing robot twins, and and that ending was very, like, ugh. And I'm sure if I did other stuff, I'd see more endings, and maybe it would make more sense, but I just... I can't be bothered. So, instead, now I'm going to record... Uh, and I'm surprised I hadn't put this up on YouTube, because I did play it on stream. But it'll be kind of nice to enjoy it on my own, is uh, Kirby uh, and the Canvas Curse, which is a Rainbow Curse? I think a Canvas... Wait, I already lost... The Rainbow Curse! Canvas Curse is the DS version of this game. They basically remade it for the Wii U um, with the touchpad, and I absolutely love um, Kirby uh, Canvas Curse. And Rainbow Curse is very good, too, because, I mean, it's, it's basically just like a... Uh, an upscaled version of it. A little bit different because you can have a friend with you. I don't have a friend with me because i it's just me. That may sound really sad, but that's just how it is. But let's delve into this. This will make me feel really good after playing way too much Atomic Heart the past few days. Enjoy the intro. That apple, Kirby, you can do it. <sighs> Kirby always has some crazy, weird space enemies attacking him, doesn't he? Don't steal our color, that's rude. Although man, with this and um, Paper Mario Color Splash, enemies really like stealing the color and life of everything. Sorry, I'm not saying anything because, you know, it, <laughs> it kind of speaks for itself, even though there's no words. But basically, evil hand monster stole all the color, and now we have to go get it back. And also save the universe, because that's what Kirby does. Okay, now we're going to Green Valley. I am playing this on the Wii U gamepad, by the way, so... Hopefully I don't sound far away because I'm gonna be looking down a lot. The adventure begins. And these ones I'm cutting up to 45 minute episodes. I'm gonna try, because I, I just kinda have it recording and I'm just gonna keep playing. Uh, cause I'm not in my, um... I'm not in my bedroom by my PC, I'm on my couch. Um... And in, you know, I'm lazy. I don't want to... <laughs> I'm going to have to learn or get better at editing things at some point. But I basically just have a timer to tell me when the general end of the episode is. So I can try to be like, hey guys. 
Oh god, the way that those things like scrunch up is a little weird. Uh, I'll be like, oh yeah, it's basically an episode. Have a good one. I'm gonna try to time it so that I actually, you know, can be like, okay, next time. And then it'll start up the next one and I'll be like, haha, we're back. It's like nothing changed. Okay, yeah, I do, I do like the drawing mechanic. Like, even though the entire game is just you rolling. Um, I there were secrets. Oh, well, that's definitely something. Because technically I could just play this while looking at the, the screen, but it's kind of weird because I, I basically have to get better at figuring out where, uh, I guess I could just hold this up. Probably for the best. Oh, I'm running low on the juice. Forgot it takes a little bit for it to reach. Oh, there we go. Nine chain. Oh yeah, cause it, it counts like how much you do before you touch the ground. 11 chain. Oh wait, no, it's just a chain of stars. So, oh, whoa, I forgot about those. Okay. But yeah, this is a this is a fun little game. It's weird to think it came out 2015 feels like so long ago. I think that wait. Oh yeah, it lets me do a big thing that I'm going to need at some point. I can't remember. Oh, that's ice. Okay, I have to remember, it's been a little while since I played this game, but yeah, like, 2015 feels like forever ago. It's weird to think the Wii U was around for a bit, but nobody thinks about it very much because they really didn't advertise it very well. And it sucks because there are a lot of really good games on the Wii U. Granted, a lot of them obviously have been remastered onto Switch, or just finally made it onto Switch. Um, but I don't think this was one of them? I honestly can't remember. I could be lying. I mean, I do have my laptop right next to me, so I could look it up. See, this is, this is one of the things, this is why it's probably cool to have like a Let's Play channel or something with multiple people. Because then one person can look stuff up and the other person can keep playing. Instead of like, basically interrupting stuff to be like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up. Oh wait, can I? Yeah, that. Oh, I can, whoops. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I, I thought, I thought I had to bust through it with the bigness. I thought that there were less stars in each level. I don't know why I thought the stars were something else. Because I guess, I don't think there are lives in this game. Oh, I don't, I have seven lives. What am I talking about? Okay, let me check something. Uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Um, Wikipedia, yeah, I, I don't think it's been remastered for Switch. Oh, cause you know what? Well, they could. Mm, yeah, I guess it does use touchscreen. I guess it would not be able. Um, yeah, yeah. No, it's Wii U only. Ah, oh, that sucks. It's such a good game. It would be nice if they could figure out a way. I mean, they could with the double sticks. You could probably just have like a cursor on the screen. But if it hasn't happened yet. I'm going to assume that it's not going to happen because of the fact that, like, they've remastered so many other things, so. Oh, that makes me sad, because this is such a gem. If you can get your hands on a Wii U and um, get a copy of the game, whether through, um, through actually having the game on disc or other means, I would highly recommend it, because this is a great game. I mean, I enjoy most Kirby games, so, you know. I mean, I, I just like Nintendo games in general. 
Like, they are pretty good at making, like, very lovable characters and and just... Just nice stuff overall. I mean, like, I've been replaying Breath of the Wild again, because one of my friends just got it and started getting into it, and I was like, man, Breath of the Wild's still a very good game. Like, like there was never a point where I would have doubted that it was a good game, but, you know. It definitely still has aged well. And, I mean, Tears... Cause I mean, Tears of the Kingdom is just like a refined version of Breath of the Wild. With different powers. And Tears of the Kingdom is also excellent, huh? Oh yeah, um... Whoa, 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 whoa! Sorry, my Wii U gamepad, um... <laughs> even though I'm, like, not even 10 feet from the, uh, the TV, Sometimes it likes to have some slight uh, issues. Uh, and when I say issues, I mean sometimes it likes to have a little bit of lag because the way it works is it goes through like the Wi-Fi or something. So, you know. Not perfect. Like, I, I think that they definitely perfected the handheldness of the Switch, just being able to go between the two. Like, the Wii U is a very, very good concept, but definitely, um... Definitely not the best thing. Oh, I forget. Oh, I got a... I got a... Freaking son of a... Oh, I ran out of juice! I guess I just have to hit it. Nor... I don't think I... Darn it! I messed up. I'm sorry, everyone. That's on me can't 100% this game because I suck. <sighs> uh... Okay, well, down we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can hit that bell now. Oh, or maybe I could. I... Oh, well... Let me up! Okay, so you did get a bonus for chaining. Anyway, sorry I'm being quiet. It's taking a lot of concentration. <laughs> You guys are probably like, it's a Kirby game. How uh, Kirby games are actually pretty hard. Not gonna lie. Okay, so. Let's see if we can hit that bell. I'm just gonna have to aim myself at it. And let's go. There we go, broke the bell. I don't know what you get out of that other than points. Wait, do I even have a score? I do have a score, it's at the bot. I don't know what it means. It's been a while. We'll just... Oh, oh, grapes! Grapes? Is that just a health item? Oh, it's points! Okay. See, we're all learning something today. If you didn't know about this game, now you know the secrets. Oh, that was stuff I could have gotten. Oh! Thank you for the stars. But yeah, I do love all Kirby games. Like, Kirby is one of those few games that can do lots of things like, just, it works. Like, okay. Like, obviously, you know, they've made Pokemon and Metroid. A lot of games have made like, pinball games. And not, they don't always work so well. There's a, um, Game Boy, I think it's actually on the, um, Nintendo Switch Online, uh, Game Boy thing. Uh, but Kirby's, um, Pinball. And it's actually, it, it it's actually good, like, Kirby seems to work very well in every format. It's, it's kind of terrifying how well he works in everything. But, um, that game's actually a lot of fun. So one up and okay, I guess just go down. Oops, I did that wrong. 
You can tell this is definitely not a speedrun by any stretch of the imagination. God, I don't remember how long these levels are, but I feel like I've been in this level for a long time. Oh. Well, now I know I only get to one. But yeah, this game is a lot of fun and it, it, it really sucks. That's the one thing that really sucks, especially about Nintendo, is that even though they have a lot of systems that are like super cool and have a lot of great ideas, sometimes they're very limiting. Like, not everybody has a Wii U. I would say a lot of people don't have um, a Wii U because it was, I don't know. Like, more people probably had a Wii than a Wii U because they were just like, well, the Wii U is just a more expensive Wii, which they're not wrong, but it it's also upscales things and all, which is nice. But man, it's just nuts. Like, uh, I mean, it, it, it kind of makes me think of the PS Vita. I have a PS Vita. I feel really bad because I never use it because like, the PS Vita is a really, really cool little console and it, it had so much potential and then Sony was like, ah, who cares about handhelds, PS4, PS5 all the way. And the PS5, look, I'm sorry, it doesn't really have a lot going for it. Like most of the games on it are just upscaled versions of like older games. And I'm like, but you guys gotta make new games too. Uh, oh yeah, I can use Amiibos. I have Amiibos, but I don't think I need it. Challenge mode. I don't want challenge mode. I just want to go to up the big old tree. Let's go up the big old tree. Okay. Let's get up the tree. God. Sorry, my timer is in the background, and I've, I've already been playing this for almost 20 minutes. All right, let's go. God, I really just need to get a, what I need to get is just a very <laughs> long USB cable so I can put my, um, oh God. So I can put my stream deck out here. Um, and that way I can actually just Pause the stream and start it whenever. Unfortunately, my PC is in my room, which is like probably a good like 20 or 30 feet away, and I definitely don't have I like I have USB-C cables because I have an Oculus, but it doesn't use USB-C. It uses its own, so I just have to get USB to USB extension cables. And I don't know if people sell 20-foot long ones. They probably do. I should probably Look, I think that would be a good investment, especially since I want to do a lot more couch streams. Because it's just... It's more comfortable than, you know, sitting at your desk. Like, couch stream's good. Just... Be comfy, man. Like, I, don't kill yourself. Ugh. For the craft. Alright, up we go. But yeah, if... You know what, honestly, if I had to choose, like, my favorite Kirby game, it would probably be Kirby and the Canvas Curse for DS. Because while this is basically that game, just, like, with a few changes, I, I feel like I enjoyed it much more on the, um, on the handheld. I don't know, probably because it felt a little bit more natural. Like, this... This is interesting too, but like looking down at it kind of hurts your neck after a while. Granted, they probably expect you to be like laying down or something, but you know. It just, it doesn't feel quite as natural as, as doing it on the, the DS. Ah! You can't hurt me when I'm full of rainbows and vigor. Oh, please, let me get that. Woo! I do want that. Alright, thank you. Um Wait, am I supposed to come down? Oh, oh, secret! Oh, oh, I was like, why is there only one? I feel like there should be more. There was more, I just had to be patient. Alright, now I'm full of that. 
Very good. Always get full of stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Now I can go down here. And now I can... Whip! Pop! Woo! Ah, oh, I could have gotten... Oh, well, I can still get that tomato. Oopsie! I... Bumper! Frick! Frick! <laughs> I... Okay. You know what? Could have done that a lot better, but it's okay. You know what? Yeah, because the other thing is, since I'm sitting on the couch playing this, I am playing it, like, one-handed. I mean, technically, I guess I could play this from the desk. Uh, I just, I can't remember if the signal gets kind of weak around there since I have so many other wires or not. Oh! So maybe I could try that later, but I, I also, like I said, I just, um... Oh, oh, this way! I just prefer sitting on the couch to sitting in my office chair. Alright, up uh, we- oh, hi! Yeah. Thank you for your star. Ah, son of a. Ew, ew, ew. You can't draw on there because the evil, I guess. Son of a. Ha ha! There we go. Oop, oop, tip, but. you for that. Hew! Pop. Go. Oh. Oh, I forgot you can kill the cannons, which is weird because generally you couldn't. They have a name. I think they're called Blastos, actually. Everything has a name. I think that was one of the things that I found very endearing about Nintendo games. Is that they always, like, enemies just had names and they were usually, like, very cute. Even though they were trying their best to kill you. Oh, that's a... Uh... Time? Time trial? Time trial. What is in here? Oh, oh, I guess I, as long as I got the chest, that's what mattered. Uh-huh. Oh, I have to press it. I thought it automatically did it. the stage uh clouds Ooh. okay I was afraid that that was most certainly death but it wasn't okay um bro there we go always be spinning what's up here up the dipsy Oh, I guess that was it. Oh! <laughs> Who put screws in the forest, anyway? It's not a very natural thing. Also, that's that's just straight up teeth. I think I should be able to go in that hole. But you can't. Oh, hello! Ah, you jerk! Okay, whatever. Look out for teeth! Up. Uh. Up. 
being so sneaky. Hell yeah! What is- oh, puzzle! Pu puzzle? Puzzle! Pu puzzle? Oh, it's a chest! Oh, I got all the chests! Awesome! Hell yeah, good job, everybody! Power of friendship, whatever. Okay, I think we're almost at the end of the stage. Especially if we got all the treasure chests. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Not that way, the other way. The other way. No, not that! <laughs> Whoopsie. Well. Oh, a book. Okay, I, I think I wanted that. Actually, you know, instead of just being lazy, I should just set the timer and then stop it when the timer goes off, like a normal person. Yeah, sorry, I'm just, I'm like thinking, I'm like, wow, instead of, yeah, come on. We found a secret diary, what in the world could be written inside? I don't know, let's look at it. Unless I have to look at it uh, somewhere else. Hmm. Chest, 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 figurine. Stick music. I was like, sticker music? Dun, 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 the music room is now open. Okay. Um, let's look at my collection. Secret diary. What does it say? Will it show up on the big screen? What's the story? Oh, because there's a diary in every stage. Clacia stole all the colors. She's a very talented artist, and she loves colors. That's it. Well, I guess the first one is probably explaining that we found each other. Okay, back next. <laughs> Um, a new challenge is now. Okay, yeah, I don't know. We'll worry about that later. Great cave escape. That sounds like it's gonna be fun, maybe, or dangerous. Oh boy. Oh, we're falling. Fall. Oh, it's so. Okay. Wake up, bro. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I forgot. I have to draw. Okay, because the. The water is too strong. Um, oh, I thought, I don't know why I thought going over that flower would do something. Just gonna scoot along, pardon me. Oopsie daisy, I want those, so we're going back. Can't be going too fast. Like Sonic the Hedgehog, well, back in the day. I feel like current Sonic games, he doesn't really go all that fast, but I guess because in the 3D space, uh, if you go too fast, it's like impossible to figure out what you're doing. Or it just breaks the game. I don't know. I haven't played a lot of more modern Sonics. I, I hear Sonic Frontiers is like one of the best, like uh, as of recent, but the bar, I'm sorry to say the bar for that is not very high. Like, and that's not to shit on, like, I love Sonic as a character, I just, I, I'll, I, all of the games that I've seen, like the 3D games, like that came out, like so many came out on the Wii and all that, they just didn't look, they didn't look very good. I really liked Sonic Mania and that wasn't even made by like, the officials, Sega Sonic Team. That was like a, a fan-made game that they were like, oh, this is really good. Let's make it a thing. Which is awesome that the fans love it so much, but it also sucks that, like, 
one of the best games to come out recently was like not by the team. And granted, like they keep making Sonic games. They're definitely very passionate. It's just like, I don't know. I feel like because of the fact that they keep changing the formula so much and not really settling on anything, it just kind of makes it not great. You know, like I will say, like I, I, I'm a little biased. I love Mario. I mean, if you look at my YouTube channel, there's I've played a lot of different Mario games, including almost every Paper Mario, which technically I have played every Paper Mario, just not all recorded or on stream. Um, oh God, oh geez, oh boy. Um, oh, please, Wii U gamepad, I'm not even that far away, stop. Stop losing connection. It'll it'll just start like thankfully it won't show up for you guys, but sometimes my gamepad just like stutters a bit. Um But no, like Mario is one of those things where if it's like well, I mean the 3D Mario's change, but I mean at, at their core at, at at their very at the very essence, Mario is still, you know, the same platformer, just like maybe you have a different way to get around like with flood or something or maybe there's new jumps or maybe there's new abilities you know it, but mario is also just one of those like if it's not broke don't fix it and it works and a lot of people might be like ah, oh, well that also makes it a little boring if things don't change but also like if you change things too much sometimes they just nothing works because you keep changing the formula every time instead of settling on something that seems like it'll work okay. And I mean, I'm not a game developer. It's it's probably hard work coming up with like things or, you know, obviously trying to satiate the masses because a lot of times gamers don't know what the hell they want or they're just, you know, assholes. Um, but at the same time, it's like, guys, you gotta, you gotta figure this out at some point. Like you can't just keep doing things and being like, huh, well, maybe next time it'll work if, like, all the previous attempts didn't really do what you wanted. Okay. Sorry, the gamepad was acting up again. Okay, press the button. Oh, 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 so many, so many, so many, so many. What up? Okay, uh, get out of there. I don't know why I thought that was going to open something else up, but... Take that fish. My chest. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I, I I play a lot of different things, and and there are definitely games that could be a lot better that I've played and enjoyed. Like, look, I played Pokemon Sword and Shield, and I feel like both of those games could be much better. But Game Freak also is. I can't tell if they're lazy or they just don't want to spend money like or if it's Nintendo and not Game Freak but game I don't know like I've enjoyed the games but you know they're definitely not really optimized compared to games like you know Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom and Super Mario Odyssey or Wonder like all of the mainline Nintendo games tend to have a lot of polish I feel because like I don't want to say that they're threatened with death if they mess it up, but also those are literally the face of Nintendo, and if you screw those up, it really doesn't look good for the company. Like, there are so many characters in Nintendo, like, m almost everybody knows, like, who Mario is. I mean, almost everybody knows who Sonic is as well, but there's, like, so many just, like, characters that exist in, um in that universe and in others that are just so recognizable because they are Nintendo products. Like they are the brand. So you screw that up and that's just, that just, like I said, it just looks bad on the company. Fr frick, 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 frick. Oh God, damn. Uh. There we go. That's what I like to see. Okay. I'm just getting too hasty. I have to take it slow. We're not even on like the hard levels. Is this stuff definitely gets a lot harder later on? Okay, uh. 
Everybody line up. Oh, well, that's... Oh yeah, I, I don't know. Like, and, and Nintendo's not a perfect company by any means. I, I know that there's probably still a lot of, like, issues with game devs being, like, overworked, underpaid, all that, but it's definitely much less apparent than in most other game companies, so... Which, I mean, doesn't really mean a lot. It could just mean that they're much better at hiding it, which I... Hope not, I hope that they're actually, like, taking care of- I was trying to get the diary! Um... But yeah, I, I don't know. But overall, like, I enjoy the things that they- that they give, and- and do, and... Enjoy, basically, all the Zelda games. You know, the Mario games, I very much like them. There's very few that I actively dislike. Like Paper Mario Sticker Star. I don't like talking about it, but at some point I will play through it again to see if my opinion on it has changed at all. But, um, <sighs> Color Splash is basically Sticker Star, but slightly better, but it still has the issue of uh, you have to do very, very specific things to beat bosses, which I didn't like. I prefer just beating the tar out of like other games, but. All right, well, let's fight Wispy Woods, I guess. Actually, this might be a good way to end it. Maybe I'll just, you know what? I feel like this playthrough can just be me going through each of the worlds. That, that probably, I feel like that'll work out okay. Oh, that seems bad. Um, what's with all these cherries? And also, well, I don't know, not too worried about those cherries. Am I just gonna fight the boss? I can't remember if I have to go through the whole. St oh no, we just fight the boss. Oh god, <laughs> I forget. I do like how expressive he is. I can't remember how... I think I just hit him in the face. Oh my gosh, you have to hit him a lot. No, don't blow me away! Okay, and there's that. I do want these stars. Uh-oh, I ran a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I think the thing I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to get a hundred. Um, yeah. And now I can just royally smush his face in. Oh, yeah! His <laughs> I forgot about his cheeks! Oh! Uh-oh, 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 okay. Okay, I do kind of want to beat him with the super smashy, so... I need you to blow again. Not before I get this cherry, though. Oh! Oh, do I have to- oh, I have to kill them. Oopsie! Here it goes! I freaking wait! <laughs> Whatever, we're just gonna smash him. I messed up. No cool points for me. Okay, he's dead. We did it. Wow, I can't believe running into one of those spikes immediately stops your cool thing. Boom! We did it! We got through world one! Yes? World one? Oh, you want me to press? I, I It had the little symbol for touch the screen. Yeah! Oh, I only got silver. Yay! I get the boss figuring. New challenges open. So yeah, okay, so we made, that's what we'll do. You know what? Each video will be each level, and we made it through Green Valley, which means the later videos will probably be quite a bit longer because of the fact that, 
it that they get harder, but you know what? That's fine. I, I, I feel like doing a whole like segment in one video is pretty good. And we did get a little bit sidetracked talking about Mario and stuff like that, but um, yeah, well, and Sonic just, I don't know. Even a lot of things. Atomic Heart at the beginning. Ah, I mean, I still don't know how to feel about it. I'm glad I played through it just to see, because I, I really thought it was going to be like Bioshock. And it was kind of like Bioshock. If Bioshock had kind of bad writing, but, you know, that's just me. I, I'm sure plenty of other people enjoyed the experience and all. But thank you once again for being here and joining me on this adventure through, uh... Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. This is a fun little game for sure. And I will probably get to points later on where I'm like, man, this game is like impossible because it does get a bit harder. I mean, I was in level one, but thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your days and I will see you for uh, the next uh, the next time we play where we go through Yellow Dunes. Until then, ciao.